think we could have hit it further. Try to just hit the big pole there. Yeah, I'm getting back into it. I haven't done whitewater in so, like, aside from obviously yesterday, but in so long. We'll just take this, like, down the tongue. Basically. Center, yeah, okay. Like, just down the middle. Yeah. Middle, kind of left ish, like. Just approaching the second rapid. Awesome to get out here with Tori. We haven't paddled rapids together in a while. So uh, yeah, fun, the river. After I did uh, the lower, this, this stretch of the upper mag here with my buddy, the water went down Well, it's come back up again. So me and Tori are doing long back-to-back -back day trips. We're paddling from our place, two bridges down. Uh, should be about a six hour paddle, hoping to do a little bit of fishing, but we didn't get started till a bit later in the day just because of all the, the kerfluffle and ongoings of uh, the house and prep and family. But oh man, it feels great to get out. We got another beautiful day here. First rapid, freaking nailed it. We're taking our Novacraft uh, Tough Stuff Expedition 17 foot prospector with a spray deck on it. So it should be another great day on the water. But just in front of us is a technical class three and the water's pretty high. So it should be, should be fun. So here we go. Here we continue to go, I should say. Right through here, and then straight down that beach. Yeah, so left of this, left of that, and then get right and stay with the tongue. So you think you got this? I think so. So yeah. I'm just, it's just hard to see, but I think like straight ahead here is a V. Yeah. There's like a ledge on the right and yeah. a ledge on the left. Right. And so we're going right. And then we'll have to eddy out and pick up north. Okay. Should okay. I go back and show north where to, you want to? Where, to where you should wait? Okay. Come on. Okay, North, this is where you wait. Me and Tori are gonna run this rapid in the queue and you, you come and meet us right here, okay? Right here, North. This is where we're gonna be, you remember? This is the exact rapid I ran with Kyle. It was the first time North jumped out of the boat, ran along the edge of the river and jumped back in and did a great job. The only thing is since then he's learned how to swim and he's a really good swimmer and fast and he loves the water and we have Tori so he might be more inclined to try to stay with us in which case he would swim this rapid um, and honest it's not really the end of the world this isn't a rapid that would injure uh, you and dogs they don't have the big feet that can get kind of trapped um, between rocks so easily that humans do so you know it's not a, a dangerous rapid for him to swim and we put a life jacket on him but there's a chance that he might swim down this. I don't know yet. Um, but honestly, a good way to train your dog, as, as, you know, as long as they're a good swimmer, a good way to train your dog is to uh, actually let them run like a class one or a class two, let them swim it. And then after that, they decide that it's better to run around. Um, you know, probably less in danger than Tori and I if we dumped in this. So, anyways, we're gonna give her. Should be a fun run. No, north, north, north. Go. No, 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 north. No, no, go to the end. No, no, north, north. Go. No, ah, no. Ah, no. Okay, whatever. All right, all right. No, north. north, other, other side. I think it's pretty much straight here. Straight, oh, straight. Draw, draw, draw. Yeah. Okay, draw, draw. Nice, nice. Woo! Okay, cross, draw. Okay, cross, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Woo! All right, draw. Woo! All right, Eddie out. Good boy, Norn! Oh, good boy! Good 
Good boy! Figured it out, eh? That was awesome. My, my, my waist. Okay, so we probably should bail, but we just have uh, the takeout up next anyway. Okay, so we'll do yeah. it there. I mean, we're gonna have yeah. to portage anyways. Oh, that was so much fun! Nailed it, honey. Portage over a ledge like a shorty. <sighs> You're recording? Huh? You're recording? Yeah. Okay. You're dragging a rope. Okay. No, whatever. Okay. <sighs> Well, me and Tori took the safer portage this time as opposed to the more dangerous one where you potentially get swept down a waterfall if you miss this really small eddy. But it's a lot further to carry the canoe. Whew. It's worth the risk of death if you ask me. Go that way. that uh, portage. It was good. Short, which is always nice. Nice little trail. The bags were all kind of a mess hanging off my shoulders, but I figured I'll just suck it up. And just yeah, it that up. looked annoying, man. Well, I had the tripod hanging off of one side and then the Yeti cooler hanging on top, and it was all just dangling to one side, so it was just like on my arm here, but it was such a short portage that I was like, meh, just suck it up. With the canoe, the magic arms kept getting stuck on everything. It's so annoying. Oh, yeah. So annoying. And then I'd my rather rod... carry the canoe than what you carried. And then my rod was getting stuck. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it is like, it's all about the, the comfort on their back. Versus... It's like less mentally enraging. Yeah, you're just like, I'm getting stuck on the thing. My rod is getting stuck. And then anyways, it was fine. It's like, would you rather oh, work out, have paddles. a good workout on a treadmill or have not as good workout, but have someone poking you in the eye randomly the whole time? Yeah. That's exactly. kind of like that. It definitely will not take the person poking you in the eye. Right hot today. Mm -hmm. Really hot. Real hot. Hold on. Wow. It's so open down here. I was going to, but you put it away. Yep, not one. Fish 
fish here in this river are so strong because uh, they have to battle the current all the time. Look, look at this little thing. Nice. Yeah, out of season. One on the board. So yeah, I just definitely had a walleye hit there. Uh, very, very close to catching one. Uh, but it is, you know, pretty much midday and a hot day. So the bite's probably a little slower now and we don't have much more time. We caught one bass, uh, which we released right away because it's out of season, but oh man, Tori had a few pecks. You can just tell it's a peck and a little shake or a little peck. You can just tell it's a walleye. And oh man, I was so close to having one there. That would have been awesome. I probably would have kept it for dinner. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, anyways, whatever. You only have so much time. That's part of the thing when you're trying to do a canoe trip and you're trying to do a fishing trip. Sometimes um, it's, it's uh, you, you know, you try to bargain for less paddling and more fishing. Uh, but we got to make some time today. So it would have been nicer to kick it here for another 20 minutes, half hour. But uh, we got to get going. But awesome to get a little action and you know even though it was out of season i'm not gonna lie the small leano small was pretty fun so anyways next coming up we have um a raging terrifying rapid yeah Woo! wow is this bigger than when you did it with kyle a little smaller probably oh yeah okay yeah. cute that part down there looks bigger though but overall... We probably could just carry over to there, eh? but I did it. He nailed it. Swamping for sure though. He looked pretty low by the end of it. So I guess it's a good thing he ran it solo. If two of us were in there, likely would have taken on way more water. Well, I'm gonna go catch up to him. In the boat, North. In the boat, go on. In the boat. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? No. All right. Hey. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. Oil. 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 Yeah. Oil. 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 I thought there was a boulder there for a minute. Well, we are approaching uh, an interesting bit of water here where there's a big drop and 
a big unrunnable drop and if you go over the drop you dump uh, but there's a long swift leading up to it so we have to run the swift above the big drop and eddy out or we go over the drop yeah, and get potentially quite hurt. So, oh, that's scary. <laughs> so this whole thing is the, the swift yeah, running. Yeah, you can see the drop is right at the end. Where that rock is? Yeah. But there's a big enough eddy that we can get over? Yeah, there is. Yeah. So we're just going to stay left as, as exactly. much as we can. Okay. Yeah. The only thing is there are some swirly rocks though. So there's one point where we don't want to be too, too left. So you know... Okay. So you know, remember how to eddy out? You just like the paddle in? Yeah. 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 Alright, back paddle. Yeah, you see the little point on the left? Don't look at the draw. Alright, back paddle. Our open face back paddle. Okay. Is this the eddy? Cross draw. Oh, this is I wish you would tell me which eddy it we're going to. see that water up there? That, in that little point in that water that's kind of boiling? I don't know, left. but I see the drop yeah, right you here. you see the little point on the left? Yes. Don't look at the draw. Alright, back paddle. That's right yeah, that's at the drop. What? That's right at the drop. Yeah, yeah, that's I don't feel comfortable out. getting out there. Honey, we're eddying up there. That's what we're doing. Paddle forward. It's easy. Don't worry. It's easy. Okay, forward. Okay, forward. Do I have to hop out quickly? Because I, I can't huh? really. Do I have to hop out quickly? No, no, it's big. It's hard to tell. I, I've been here before. You sure? 100% sure. Doesn't look very big. It's big, don't worry. So this is what we just eddied out on top of. What do you say, hon? Doing the upper mag at high water? A pretty interesting uh, jumping right back into white water? Yeah, it's fun. How'd you feel about that eddy out? I think you know how I felt about it. <laughs> Tori couldn't see the eddy. I've done the river before and she thought it was crazy that I was eddying out above this, but you really can't see the sides of the eddy. 
so she was just like thought I'd lost it and was gonna bomb us over the falls but anyways we made it I mean will our marriage I don't know but we made it without going over the falls so now we gotta cut across there and get there and Nord has to run around there over there to meet us on the other side and we gotta cut that way and that way and run this rapid and then eddy out boulders or anything I guess uh, there's one right there but basically what I would just do is hit this try to paddle left hard we don't want to broadside that wave so bomb this boom hit that and then get right and then miss to see that boiling hole on the bottom left in between that and the rock so we should go look from up top That was interesting, eh? Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that would be more fun, but it looks like the other option we could have is just run the whole thing right. Like we have that curling wave there, which is weird, but it's not as big as last time. We probably just bomb right over it. So we might have to eddy out right and then front ferry over to pick up north, potentially bail and then front ferry. And you're gonna run through here. Look, north, north. North, you're going to run through there. Go North, Go look, show, tell them. Go on. Go this way. Go you're going to go that way. The woods. <laughs> you're going to go this way, North. North, look. This way. This way.
Sí. <risa> Packed up. Good rescue job, honey. <laughs> that was fun. Yo, you see, there's no rocks or anything, eh? I didn't hit a single rock. You didn't even brush one. Yeah. Didn't even hit a single rock. Damn it! I wanted to nail it. I know. Okay. Tori, thoughts? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was uh, pretty intense. I went to just push my glasses up. <laughs> um, yeah, I was worried at one point that we were gonna just we were kind of nosing straight for the cliffs and I just I was like we're screwed at this point but then somehow miraculously Jim turned us around and then we just we made we kind of made the drop where we were supposed to but just a little too far left and then hit a hole and just I don't know that was it I was just like we're dumping <laughs> But we got, we pushed out pretty quick. It eh? always happens so slowly. Yeah, it seems, like, it feels it's like it's just like, like ah, you yeah. know. I think because we were swamped, it just oh. kind of felt slow, you know. Yeah, because I really had a lot of time to kick out. Because like yeah. last time, my feet got stuck under in the canoe. I think because of the mm -hmm. seat repair. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was. Uh, Woo! It was fun, man. It was such a hot day. I'm just like, oh no, we went for a swim. Yeah. Eating a deer fly. You're saving us one fly at a time. <laughs> well, let's get back on water. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, keep your eyes peeled for my paddle. Like, it'll be in an eddy, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's over there. Nice, good eye. Just taking my copy kneeling. Oh, I see. Uh, paddle recovered. Paddle recovered. Bam! Wow, that was really challenging. It sounded like. What was? That was really challenging. What? Getting the paddles? Yeah. yeah me too. Why are we dumping to the left? Yeah, that's better. Like this isn't a technical thing. It's just like bomb. Yeah, bomb the. You know, we could probably avoid the waves, but it's like kind of hard to avoid them. So you might as well just bomb it. You know. Let's just not do anything it's fancy here. It's gonna be like a big fun wave train though, like big class two or class one, but big wave train. You know. Okay. Alrighty. That's it. That's it. Okay, North lie down. Woo! Well, me and Tori just ran our last rapid of the day. What an action packed day. The water levels were higher than when Kyle and I ran it. At first, I wasn't too sure. I thought they were lower because after Kyle and I ran it, my last, my first time running this stretch of the mag uh, this year, basically uh the water went way down and now it's come way back up just in time for me and tori to have a beautiful day water's warm high water just you know no need to worry about swimming no need for dry suits you get out you warm up you dry just some super amount of fun bombing over huge waves tori we, we uh realized what happened our last dump we had these uh these uh, magic arms are called these brackets that hold the GoPro. And when she went to do the, the mandatory crux move of the entire rapid, which is Tori's cross draw, she was just stuffed by the freaking bracket. And that just basically from there on, it was all trying to save ourselves, trying to catch up because that split crux move was just thwarted. But anyways, whatever, super fun. And I've already learned so much from that dump just about future uh you know just what i would do next time i bet you same situation next time we would nail it i bet you we wouldn't dump again just because i've learned that much from it and now we have 
a fun little flat water paddle to where our truck is waiting for us. North, lie down, please. North, lie down. North, Good boy. Lie down, lie down. Good boy, lie down. North, no, 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 no. Lie down. Lie down. Good, Good boy. boy. Thanks. What a boy. This feels so much tippier when he's standing up. Cool. That was so much fun though. So okay. fun. We were like totally facing the wrong direction. I was like, we're running those waves fast like that. Oh, and we were just like, oh. Like, so you fun! Like, you thought we were gonna spin back? I this? didn't know what. I thought we were just gonna bash into the cliff. I thought we were gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and then we somehow, our nose was just like all of a sudden just like whoosh, into the right direction. I was like, oh, we did it! <laughs> we almost did it, honey. Oh! And there it is, honey. Oh! We did it. We did it. Another awesome trip in the bag. We did it, two in a row. Back to back, baby. Action packed, back to back.